This is Melanie, Movie Maven Gal from Pardesi. I've just come from seeing Jadwa 2, uh, with starring Varun Dhawan and directed by his father, David Dhawan. The female roles are played by Jacqueline Fernandez and Topsy Panu. It's nice to see Jacqueline Fernandez in a comedy again, because I really had a revelation in seeing her in Odd Gentleman and how funny she is. She's really great at comedy. Um, the problem is she's not given a lot to do in this film except act like a bimbo. And the same thing uh, with Topsy. So Varun Dewan, this is directed by his father. He gets all the slow-mo. He gets all, you know, the great action fights. He gets everything. And he gives it a thousand percent. I have to give it to Varun. He gives it a thousand percent whatever he's doing. If he's going for the comedy, if he's going for the crying, if he's going for the action, he is giving it his all. So I watched the first film with Salman Khan and Krishma Kapoor earlier this week. So I have it fresh in my mind to compare. I didn't grow up watching it, but you know, there should be some difference between 1997 and 2017. What I was willing to let slide, even if it was questionable then, is harder to stomach and harder to laugh at in a movie in 2017. I just personally don't find it funny for someone to, for a man to come up to a woman and smack her behind in a grocery store. Just doesn't, you know, it's not there. Now, grabbing someone to kiss them to avoid a cop might not be funny to everyone, but that's still funny to me. But there was a scene then of somebody, cry, you know, kissing someone to the point of making her cry that I didn't like. So I just like the tone just was, they were trying so hard to match the plot and the tone of the original one and they needed to freshen it up for 2017. There's a lot that you can do when you have a twin comedy. Um, you know, frankly, I found a gentleman a lot funnier in some of this stuff. So I'm not faulting Varun because he was trying his hardest. It's just I wasn't laughing. I wasn't laughing as much as I should have been laughing. There were moments that were funny. Um, you've seen it in the trailer, the Kabul joke, I still find funny. They had a lot of attention to detail where they were mimicking things from the first film. I find it funny that Anupam Kher, who was played the uh, bumbling police inspector is now one of the fathers. That's kind of funny. And Salman Khan, of course, has a cameo at the end. Everyone has heard that he has a cameo. They have a few of the songs from the original movie that they've done a remix of. Varun Dewan is absolutely fantastic in the dancing scenes. And Jacqueline Fernandez and Topsy are great dancing with him. Um, you know, I'm a shallow kind of person who I felt like walking in the theater, I did get my money's tick my matinee ticket price money's worth for seeing Ron shirtless for most of two and a half hours and doing swiveling his hips and a lot of dances. So, okay, I'm, I will admit it, I was there for that. But I don't know that's enough for everyone. Is there a reason to have Johnny Lever inserted in this movie? Not really. It was that scene wasn't so funny to me. There were things that they didn't improve upon from the original. For instance, the villains. The villains in this version in Jedwa 2 were like milk toast. They were not threatening and scary at all. <laughs> um, I don't know the name of the older actor in the original Jedwa from the beginning of the film, the one that snatches the baby. But I can tell you in this version, this actor, not scary, not threatening at all, n no vibe from him of, you know, a threatening killer. And then the guy that plays his son, okay, maybe you can't compare yourself to Mukesh Rishi. They did avoid the flute playing, <laughs> but it's still, I mean, this guy, he was just like a big lug. He didn't have the menace of Mukesh Rishi. So that really let me down. Like the, the energy there 
of having the villain and having it actually all of the plot shenanigans make sense because of the villains really being threatening thrown out the window so all of the slapstick comedy there's wordplay in there that i think doesn't come through in the subtitles. I know Varun's friend in the film is supposed to have some sort of speech impediment, but because I don't speak Hindi, it wasn't obvious to me, and maybe that was would be more funny to an Indian audience. I don't know. It just didn't come through in the subtitles. It didn't I couldn't my ear could not hear exactly what the issue was with his speech. I mean, I could see that there was some dialogue that was referencing as it as a joke. It didn't come through to me. So I left, you know, this film wanting to love it because I really enjoyed watching the first Jedwa earlier this week. And I just, it's just average or below average for me. And I hate to say that about a Varun Duan film because I really am a fan of his. He's done really funny things. And I like his collaboration with his dad in Main Terror Hero. That one I found very funny, but and you know and that was also a slapstick farce but if you live in india and you can hear more of the wordplay of the jokes but again i you know i wish that the women had had a little bit more to work with in the script because i kept thinking about how much fun karishma kapoor had she was scamming raja the same way that he was scamming her you know i mean there was a back and forth there and i didn't feel that from Jacqueline's part at all. They threw all of that out. Um, one thing I am glad that they threw out, the mother's amnesia and being shot in the head and all of that, I was glad that part was gone. So um, again, Varun, you know, acted his heart out in this. He danced his heart out in this. And I can't really fault him for trying. I just, it's more the script that I have an issue with, with and the fact that his father was asking him to smack women's behinds and tell the mother of one of the girlfriends that her teeth were too old or something. I mean, it was just bad, just bad jokes that were not funny to me. So anyway, let me know in the comments if you've seen the film and what you thought about it. I'd like to know, is it just my reaction or did you have the same reaction too, if you saw it? Or maybe you're just reacting from the trailer. Um, please like, share and subscribe hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to see more uh, trailers reactions and if you'd like to see more film reviews of hindi malayalam telugu and tamil films please subscribe and follow us on twitter at pardesi yt